For years, it was shrouded in secrecy, then infamy. We're asking, what exactly is Russia's Wagner Group? And how powerful is it? Wagner is actually a group of entities that operate as a private military company, or PMC. PMCs can be hired by governments for security or combat services, and they're not uncommon. The US used PMCs during the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Wagner has a wide variety of services to offer. But a Russia expert at the German Council of Foreign Relations says the Russian version of a PMC is different. In NATO countries, in Western countries, the main logic behind using private contractors when it comes to security and defense policy has been the flexibility of resources. However, on the Russian side, the logic has been different. Russia, from the very beginning, perceived these companies as a way of exerting state power in a covert way. One place it's deployed that power is Africa, where some nations are turning to Wagner to fill security gaps or prop up dictatorial regimes. What kinds of operations are they carrying out in these countries? In most cases, they provide training for uh, local military forces, local security forces, but they are also engaged in VIP protection, also in guarding, and if necessary, they are able to conduct also high-intensity operations. In some African countries, Wagner exchanges its services for almost unfettered access to natural resources. A CBS News investigation found Russian cargo flights stopped in Central African Republic twice a week, possibly smuggling billions of dollars worth of gold back to Russia. A new CBS News investigation has found evidence of mass murder. By Wagner mercenaries have been accused of atrocities, including mass murder and rape, across Africa and alongside Russian forces in Ukraine, where fighters have been charged with thousands of war crimes. When previously asked for comment, the Wagner Group dismissed questions from CBS News as boorish and provocative and insisted the company did not commit these crimes. Wagner first popped up in Ukraine in 2014, when soldiers in unmarked uniforms appeared to help pro-Russian forces illegally annex territory for Russia. But the private army then became a major part of Russia's invasion, even recruiting fighters from Russian prisons to beef up numbers on the battlefield. And as Wagner's publicity has grown, so has that of its shadowy founder, Yevgeny Prigozhin, whose work running a catering company with Kremlin contracts earned him the nickname Putin's chef. After long denying any connection to the Wagner Group, Prigozhin finally admitted to being its founder last year. Prigozhin is a mastermind of uh, media and also is a mastermind of social media. While Putin and his uh, propagandists have been dominating the Russian uh, television and um, traditional outlets, Prigozhin is innovative because he had weaponized a network of military correspondents and bloggers. Russia's failure to make significant gains on the battlefield in Ukraine in recent months has opened the door for Prigozhin to publicly criticize Russian military commanders while positioning himself as a hero. He knows that uh, his uh, key differentiator from the Kremlin propaganda is that level of criticism, level of honesty, you know, things are not going as well, and criticism sells. And I think that that's the platform that he's really trying to advance on and uh, solidify himself as a prominent figure in, uh, in Russia. But now that the operations of the once shadowy Wagner group have become more public, so have its tactics. Military experts say its recruits are poorly equipped, even used as cannon fodder. All while Russia's advance has stalled or been pushed back. And that's raised questions about the group's future. <laughs>